chest rolled through the tavern, Mortimer felt the weight of impending doom, constricting his heart. Olgath continued his tale, a glassy look in his eyes. But just as shadows began to wrap around the boy's soul, a strange figure emerged from the darkness, a balding man with skin that shimmered like precious metals, an echo of gold and silver glinting in the gloom. Tattoos that sparkled like gemstones seemed to writhe and shift upon him. Aiden gasped as the stranger gliding forward with the grace of a predator seized Lyra, clutching her firmly in his metallic grasp. The bald man, like Lyra, was also one who feeds on the living, but he was also an underground dweller who thrived upon the minerals of the earth. With an incantation that rattled the walls, he cursed Lyra, marking her as one of his own with a transformation that would change her forever. The tavern was silent now, entranced by the tale. Yet, as fate would have it, Aiden found himself trapped with these twisted beings, the bald man, his sinister consort, and the encroaching hunger threatening to claim him as well. The boy could feel the transformation creeping along his veins, pulling him toward riches in the darkness. But just as Aiden's hope dwindled to a flicker, a glimmer of strength surged in the boy's heart. Edlin, the sister who had loved him fiercely, appeared at the cave's entrance. Drawn by an instinct deeper than reason, she charged into the shadows, and that evening rescued her brother from the clutches of despair. Olgoth's voice softened, weaving resolution into the air, as the audience sat spellbound by the notion of magic, family, and the dichotomy of light and dark. In that moment, under the luminous glow of the gemstones that adorned the bald man, Aiden not only found escape, but forged a bond with his sister that no dark creature could sever. For love is as potent as any spell, a light cutting through the deepest of shadows. As the tale ebbed, the tavern breathed again, laughter and chatter rising to fill the spaces, left by chilling fears. Mortimer sat back, his heart racing with the threads of fate that seemed to weave themselves anew in the echo of Olgoth's story. The line between darkness and salvation, as fragile as the flame, that flickered between them. 